A New Hampshire woman and her child kidnapped in Haiti have been freed and are safe at this hour, according to the, the faith-based humanitarian organization El Rio Haiti. Alex Dorsonville and her young child were kidnapped in Haiti roughly two weeks ago. ABC News' Matt Rivers is in Mexico City with the latest. Matt, a Haitian law enforcement source says negotiations to free her started very shortly after she was taken. Uh, how did we get here? Yeah, this is a process that's been playing out, as you mentioned, Phil, over the last two weeks. Frankly, as compared to other kidnapping cases of foreign, or foreign nationals that we've seen over the past couple of years in Haiti, this has played out relatively quickly. It can often take months for people to be freed, and yet in this case, uh, her release was secured relatively quickly, just two weeks into this horrific ordeal. It was uh, Alex Dorsonville, 31-year-old American nurse who was working uh, at El Roy, Haiti. This is uh, a Christian aid ministry uh, right on the outskirts of Port to Prince when we're told that uh, the kidnappers came into the campus where she was working, kidnapped not only her, but her very young daughter, and they've been holding her ever since. Uh, we know from a Haitian law enforcement source that negotiations were ongoing shortly after she was taken to try and secure her release. The circumstances of her release, whether a ransom was paid, what kind of negotiations took place, those details still very much coming in. We know the family has been notified that she is safe. So this is still a, a lot more that we have to learn about this, but the fact that this woman and her young daughter are safe. Certainly good news this morning. It absolutely is. And, and Matt, you've been covering this extensively. All of this comes as Haiti's gang violence worsens, the humanitarian crisis amid political turmoil in the country. So what's the latest on all of that right now? Yeah, Phil, as much as I want love to tell you that what happened to this woman is a surprise, it just isn't. I mean, kidnapping, extortion uh, is a threat that Haitians and foreigners alike, whoever is in Port-au-Prince, that's a threat that they have to face on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, there have been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kidnappings for ransom, the vast majority occurring to Haitian nationals themselves. But if you are a foreigner in Haiti, you run that risk and you become even more of a target because oftentimes gang members think you have more money uh, to pay in a ransom. Again, we don't know what happened in this case, but that's often the case. But overall, broadly speaking, Port-au-Prince continues to be decimated by gang violence. Just yesterday, Phil, the U.S. Embassy in Port-au-Prince was forced to temporarily close for at least a few hours because of a gunfight between Haitian National Police and gang members out front. Just another example that no part of that city right now is safe. Yeah, and it continues. Matt Rivers in Mexico City for us. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.